What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood, DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for Wednesday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys. So, yeah, I'm just getting back in from out of town. Um, so, we didn't have a video for the, uh, the last couple of slates. Um, there were some small slates. So, um, but I did tweet out a little bit of information. So, go ahead and give me a follow over on Twitter at DK underscore Attic. All right. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. So, that way you don't miss my NBA picks video. All right, when it comes to cash games, I'm doing an awesome job. GPPs, different conversation. So, uh, but yeah, so got you guys on that cash game locks, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into today's slate, guys. So um, first and foremost, my research tool, the choice of draft dashboard. If you enjoy this software, I have a, a, a treat for you. In the description of this video is a 30-day trial for $1. You can use the tools for 30 days for $1. All right, so that includes NBA, NHL, MLB, and NFL. Of course, MLB is winding down. All right, we got the game seven tonight. Go Strolls. All right, my apologies if you're a Washington Nationals fan. All righty, uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So first and foremost, I always go to my position optimizer. Even though we do have a cheat sheet, there, uh, if you want to go in and get some real quick picks and then build your lineup, go straight to the cheat sheet, like a couple of players, and then go and run optimizer to build your lineup. But I go through and I select my plays by position. So, first and foremost, I'm going to go with my point guard. So, right now, my favorite point guard on the slate, guys, has got to be Mr. James Harden going up against Washington, who he has smashed in the past, but so has Westbrook. So, um, we had that same little old situation with Russell Westbrook and um, James Harden. Which one do we go with? Me, personally, I'm going with Harden again. All right. We're going to make it work. All right, as so we can see, Harden scored 58 last game. Westbrook scored 51. So if you need to save the $500 worth of salary, go with Westbrook. It's not a bad play, but I'm going with James Harden today. Um, I don't need to explain those plays, man. Uh, ben Simmons going up against Minnesota. Great matchup for point guards. Jeff Teague is no one to be sh uh, shied away from when it comes to defense. All righty. Uh, so at 8.7K, this guy has all the green check boxes. All righty. He's one of the players that's on the uh, cheat sheet. As we can see here by the crown. And so, um, averaging 36 minutes, 41 DraftKings points. But he's averaging 54 DraftKings points versus Minnesota in the last three matchups. So, uh, he's definitely somebody that we could go for in that spot. Um, Devin Booker, today's his birthday. So, do we want to play that birthday narrative? He's playing on the road against Golden State, who just came off a game where they kicked the snot out of New Orleans. All righty. I'm talking about beat him up bad. So, um, with that being said, the last time Devin Booker face the Golden State Warriors, as you can see over here, he hit him for 68 DraftKings points. So, definitely somebody we can look at as a GPP flyer. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and put him on my watch list. All right. Next up, CJ McCullum, man. This guy here is a, is, is, is a hot and cold type guy. Right now, he's hot in that 6.6K against the OKC team that just let Russ Book and um, Harden go off on him at 6.6K. He's a cheap, cheap play. Um, Rubio. All right, that Phoenix and Golden State game, I love this game. This game is going to be a nice matchup. 229 points. And remember, this Phoenix team just beat the Clippers, who was the hottest thing the first couple of games of the season. And Phoenix came in and beat them. So, that being said, I like this matchup. But Rubio at 6.2K, playing 30 minutes plus in the last uh, couple of games. All right, coming off that game where he sat out with, with an injury and came back and put up 35 DraftKings points. So, I like him in his fast-paced matchup. Versus this Golden State um, team. Um, again, 6.2K. Great price for Mr. Rubio. Fred Van Fleet, the guy's getting the minutes at home. Playing against Detroit, who is a favorable matchup for point guards. And at 6.1K, I cannot shy away from this guy. He's averaging 39 minutes played. Okay, so that means if this game goes back and forth, he's going to be on the floor, which means opportunity. And his usage is decent at 21% on average. So, <coughs> Fred Van Fleet is in my... My uh my uh my, my uh, line of sight, Josh Richardson, at shooting guard. All right, so I've got James Harden at my point guard. I'm gonna put Josh Richardson at my shooting guard. It really doesn't matter because they're both point guard and shooting guard eligible. But Josh Richardson at 5.3K in the matchup versus Minnesota again, pretty nice over and under of 222. All right, <clears throat> he's projected to score 29 and a half DraftKings points in that 5.3K. I can definitely dig that. All right, he's averaging 33 minutes. Somewhere around 29 DraftKings points on average. Again, this is a pace-up matchup at home going up against Minnesota, which, again, this team can put up points and they give up points. So that could be a nice play. And I, I definitely like Josh Richardson 
um, at 5.3K. I think he's a, he has a safe floor with a little bit of upside um, in that matchup. So that's my point guard and shooting guard, guys, all in one. I believe I have a couple of people who are shooting guard eligible only in my watch list. Uh, let's see. Yeah, B Boban, all right, uh, Bogdan, Bogdanovich at uh, 3.8K going up against um, Charlotte, okay, and again, the guy is only 3.8K, all righty, so definitely a good spot for him going up against Charlotte at uh, at 3.8K, I like him. Coming down a little bit further for some more value, Eric Gordon, a.k.a. Splash Gordon. Now, this Washington game versus Houston is the highest over and under game on the slate. It looks like at 232 and a half points. Score between these two should be a nice knockdown, drag out fight. All right. So with Eric Gordon come off the bench, averaging 33 minutes, y'all. Okay. 3.9K, definitely somebody that could be a good um, filler in when you need to uh, save some salary at 3.9K. <clears throat> He's going to get the minutes. The question is, does he, does he knock down the shots when Westbrook or Harding are passing out those passes to those guys hanging around the three-point line? Question is, is he going to knock down the three-pointer? So, um, definitely like me some Eric Gordon in that spot. So, coming on over to my small forward. Oh, definitely Bradley Beal. I didn't talk about him, guys, but um, um, he's definitely somebody that I'm watching. If you want to get my complete player pool as far as my watch players list, go to the link in the description of this uh, video. Sign up for the draft dashboard 30-day um, trial. And when you go over to your watch players tab, all righty, where it says watch DK Addicts picks, go ahead and click that, and it will download or upload my watch players to your player pool and then you could go and optimize your lineups from there and again it, it adds it to yours so it, it will not replace your um your picks if you have any watch players so i'm um, going back to small forward um my favorite small forward on the slate has to be um at the moment i'm going with what a guy that's going to be at value all righty and it's going to be mr daniel house <laughs> all right the guy starting Getting a lot of minutes. Again, I like this Washington game, and I think he's going to be a good value play, in my opinion. So uh, definitely, uh, Mr. Daniel House is going to be on my uh, – locked in in my small forward spot. But, of course, Giannis is on the slate going up against Boston. That's a tough team as far as that defense goes. But this is Giannis Antetokounmpo, man. All right? So me personally, I'm not paying up for him. Not on an 11-game slate. All righty. But I am paying up for Harden, huh? Ain't that something? But Harden has a much more favorable matchup versus Washington than Giannis does against a scrappy uh, Boston defense. All right. So, um, of course, Ben Simmons is in a great spot versus Minnesota. Um, at 8.7K, I like him. All right. He's averaging somewhere around 55 DraftKings points. Again, we talked about him when we talked about our point guards. Of course, Kawhi Leonard's in play every game. All right. This guy's 8.8K. He has a great matchup versus Utah. All righty. Um, question is... Man, look at that. 52, I mean, 58, 62, and 41 in his last three games played. That boy Kawhi is acting a fool, man. So, definitely Kawhi. Tobias Harris is a nice nice um, spot right around that 6.5K. And he has had success versus Minnesota in the past. And the guy's playing 37-plus minutes. So, he's on the court. The question is, do you get the 44-point Tobias or the 29-point Tobias? I think he's in a good spot tonight. So, definitely don't overlook him. Kelly Oubre at 6.2K. Again, I love that game. Let me go ahead and add him to my watch players list, but he's somebody that's definitely in a great spot. All right. Ananobi, this guy here, man, 4.7K to me is a steal at that price. All right, look at his minutes and look at his point production. 34 minutes, 30 DraftKings points on average in the first three, well, the last three games. All right. So at 4.7K, I like him at that spot. Again, he's locked in for the minutes. Question is, you know, what can he do when he's on the floor? And it looks like he's, he's filling up the stat sheets, with rebounds, um, three-pointers, and uh, points. So uh, coming down a little bit further, Davis Bertans. All right, again, I love this Houston versus Washington game. Again, high over and under. Love it. This guy's playing 29 minutes on average and putting up somewhere around 24 DraftKings points. So at 3.7K, he's definitely somebody that you can definitely plug in that's going to get solid minutes and that's going to be on the floor in a game that has favorable um, uh, game script, quote unquote, right? So, uh, Davis Bertans now on the uh, Washington Wizards. All right, coming over from San Antonio is definitely a good value spot at 3.7K to fit in some of those higher uh, price guys that you guys are going to want to play on today's slate. Matter of fact, do me a favor, drop a comment. Let me know who is the guy that you're going to be paying up for. So, this is somebody that's going to be over 8K. So, who is your guy that you're paying up for that's over 8K? 
well, let's say over over uh, 8.9K. So anything over 9K. So again, I talked about Daniel House. He's going to be a guy that I'm going to use to fill in some of my uh, quote-unquote value plays at 3.8K. He's playing 30 minutes on average, averaging around 22 DraftKings points. But this young man is a hustler. You know, again, he's on the floor. He's playing hard. Uh, he could definitely fall into 25 or 30 DraftKings points um, playing with Harden and Westbrook. And again, some turnovers, some blocks, some rebounds on that Washington uh, against that Washington team. I definitely like Mr. House Jr. All right. Maybe a little bit biased there since I'm in Houston. Houston residents. All right. Cool, cool. Next up, Power Ford. My favorite Power Ford is on the slate. Um, man, Sabonis got to be the guy, right? Going up against Brooklyn, playing 36 plus minutes, averaging 40 DraftKings points. And again, last couple of games, 47, 25, and 42. And at 7.9K, you got three green boxes over here on the draft dashboard, all right? Again, he's checking all the boxes. Now, his history versus Brooklyn is only around 30 DraftKings points, but he wasn't a starter and he wasn't playing his starter's minutes. All right, so I do like Sabonis in his spot. Again, we already talked about Tobias Harris. We already talked about Oubre. Now, Al Horford at 6.1K is an interesting play. All right, I know over here it says that he's not in a great matchup. But, guys, look at this. 32 minutes on average. Putting up 33 DraftKings points and he's only 61K. Definitely somebody that you could consider. Al Horford. Again, this is another one of those games that I like. The Philly Minnesota game is, is my uh, probably my second favorite game. Actually, third favorite. That go to uh, Houston is first. Houston versus Washington. Golden State versus Phoenix. And then that Philly versus Minnesota game. So those are my, my favorite games on the slate as of now. So uh coming down a little bit further, this guy here. I can't even pronounce his name. Hachimura, uh the rookie. For Washington, power forward, he's in a good spot at 5.4K. Very consistent, guys. Look at his floor. He has a safe floor of around 28 draft game points. And he's only 5.4K. So um, I like him. Again, for that safe floor, he's going to get the minutes. going to be on the floor. All right. Going to get the production. Because, again, he's one of those scrappy players. Um, we already talked about Daniel House. So that's all my power fours now. If I don't mention the power four guys, that does not mean that I don't like them. Again, these are just the guys that I'm, I am I got my, my eyes on my sights on. Like I said, I like Kevin Love, too, maybe as a GBP player at 8.2K. As we can see, he showed a nice little ceiling of 56 a couple of games ago. So this could be a matchup versus Chicago where he does something similar. So definitely Kevin Love is in my sights. All right, so next up, center spot. I'm not going to talk about Carl Anthony Towns, guys. Again, this guy's been a beast. 74, 82, and then he came back down to earth with just 51. <laughs> I say just 51 like that's a small feat. All right, but he got a great matchup going up against Philly. Again, looking at the pass, looks like he struggled with Philly with 34, 24, 34. But Cole Anthony Towns is on a mission this year, as we can see, coming out the gates, just acting the fool. All right, I definitely like Cole Anthony Towns at 9.9K. Joel Embiid, okay, definitely has to be considered playing at home. Again, coming off a game where he put up 67 DraftKings points and he's 10K. Definitely could consider Joel Embiid. I will probably be going with more of a value center myself. All right. Matter of fact, here's my favorite center right here. My value center right here. Tristan Thompson. All right. 6.5K gets a matchup versus Chicago, who has been friendly to rebounders. Look at the last game versus New York. They gave up three different players that had double-digit rebounds. And Tristan Thompson is a walking double-double. 34, 49, and 41 in his last three games. Averaging 34 minutes. So Tristan Thompson is somebody that I will be locking in at my center spot. All right. If I'm not paying up for Joel Embiid or Carl Anthony Towns. All righty. So that's my favorite center um, right now. Again, um, there's some more guys that I'm going to be um, um, interested in at the center spot. All right. To pivot or to pay down for and pay up in other areas. But those are my favorite plays at the moment. All right. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Jump over here to the lineup optimizer. And let's see what the lineup optimizer spits out. Now, guys, don't set and forget your lineups. If you set a lineup right now, go back about 30 to 40 minutes before lineups lock and check the news because there could be a player or two that's out that opens up some great value that could mean that you have to rearrange your whole lineup. All right? So if you take this lineup that's on the screen, do not take it as gospel. Go back and check um, closer to lineup locks and see if there's any uh, news that comes out. But... Once you go ahead and lock the save players in, guys, you can come over to your save lineups. And actually, you can see the projections. This projected lineup is 236 points. Um, but, of course, they can score higher or they can score lower, um, depending on the outcome of the uh, uh, the game. So, um, 
let's go over to draft kings and see um what those what our lineups are gonna look like when we lock in our top plays so for me again james harden i'm locking him in going up against washington who he has smashed versus in the past and again guys james harden really hadn't had a great shooting season yet again he's only shooting 38 percent worth of field goals and he's only shooting Two, two point, 21% from the uh, three-point line in the last game. Three or 14, so James Harden still hadn't had that game yet. So I'm going back to the well. Again, the guy's still averaging 50 DraftKings points for a guy that's 10K that has 90-point upside. Okay? Let's not forget, James Harden can stack, can, 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 can definitely fill it up. All right? Even with Westbrook there. So um, Josh Richardson and my shooting guard. Again, this guy's just a consistent floor guy. 30 DraftKings points. He had this game where he only had 22 versus Detroit. All right, but he's playing 31, 37, and 33 minutes going up against Philly, 5.3K. I like his chances of uh, meeting that uh, salary and, and actually exceeding it. So at 5.3K, I like me some Josh Richardson. Daniel House Jr., again, the guy's playing the minutes. All right, 26, 30, and 37. All right, uh, getting the start. And at 3.8K, again, he's getting the shots. Question is, he just got to knock him down. All right, so I'm hoping I get me a nice little old 30-point night for Mr. Daniel House going up against Washington. All right, Bertans, again, another guy that I'm looking at for value to go ahead and figure, uh, fit in some uh, higher price guys. Again, this guy's 3.7K, averaging somewhere around 28 uh, minutes, and again, putting up decent production at 3.7K. I don't need much from him, but he has a nice matchup versus Houston. All right, Tristan Thompson, like I said, walking double-double. Look at this. All right, 17, 13, 25, 13, 16, 11 somewhere around 35 DraftKings points on average and he's only 6.5k then he gets a matchup versus chicago like i said that gave up three double digit rebounders in the last game versus new york so they're giving up rebounds tristan thompson locking them in all right so those are my top five plays right now guys on this slate anything can happen between now and lineups lock so go ahead and follow me over on Twitter at DK underscore addicts. And like I said, there's always news coming out. All right, we're talking about Tristan Thompson is day to day. I just saw that uh, Adams is going to be a game time decision. As we know, right before yesterday's slate, they uh, said that <laughs> they said that uh, uh, Anthony Davis was questionable with a shoulder injury. And then the guy comes out and has a damn Hall of Fame night. Love it, huh? And what I hate about it is that I had a couple of uh, GPP lineups that I took him out. And put in LeBron because I'm thinking, okay, he had a bad shoulder. He might go out injured after the first quarter. He goes out and has a damn uh, MVP night. So, um, but I still cash in my double up, so I'm not tripping. So I still I broke even yesterday actually um, because of my uh, my cash games. Um, but again, you know, it is what it is, guys. So just keep an eye on the news. So those are my top plays. They leave you 6,800 for your last three spots, which should be more than enough to fit in and maybe another stud like uh, let's say a Bradley Beal. And that still gives you 5,800 for your last two spots. Or if you want to play uh, Joel Embiid at your utility or Giannis, you know, because you love him Giannis. That still leaves you 4,900 where you can find some decent plays around that price point. So, um, yeah. So, again, draft dashboard. Check it out. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you could, drop a comment below. Let me know who's the player that you're going to pay up for. That's over 9K. So 9K and above, who you paying up for? Is it Dame? Is it Drummond? Is it Curry? Is it Westbrook? Is it Towns? Is it Joel Embiid? Is it Giannis Antetokounmpo? Who you paying up for today? Who you putting your money on? So I uh, appreciate you guys. I love you, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.